Introduction to Biology The world is divided into two main parts. One part belongs to living things and the other part belongs to non-living things. The study of living things comes under biology. In other words, we can say that biology is that branch of science which deals with the study of all living things. The word biology is derived from two Greek words, bios meaning life and logos meaning knowledge. Thus, it means that we gain knowledge about living things in biology. Division of Biology Biology is further divided into two major branches, botany and zoology. 1. Zoology This branch deals with the study of animals and 2. Botany This branch deals with the study of plants. Correlation with different branches You are studying biology as a part of science, right? It is therefore necessary first to define science. Science is an organized body of knowledge supported by observation and experimentation derived from the study of natural phenomena of the entire material universe. There are three main branches of science, namely physics, chemistry and biology. Of these, biology is the study of living beings that is, all plants and animals, including humans. Nowadays, scientists often prefer the term life science instead of biology in an effort to emphasize die focus on the study of life processes. However, biology itself means the study or science of life. Remember, the Greek word bios means life and logos means study. Growth of Biology No one can say when the study of biology exactly began. Primitive man lived in jungles and caves. He collected food from natural vegetation and hunted wild animals. Through this activity, he learned about the life and habits of different animals and recognized various plants and their parts. That was the beginning of biology. The drawings of animals and plants in the caves of prehistoric periods in the figure are proofs of primitive man's interest in the plants and animals around him. With the evolution of culture, man began to live in settled communities and started farming. He domesticated animals such as the dog, cow, sheep, horse and buffalo. These practices gave him further opportunities for the study of the ways and life of these animals. Thus, biology grew more and more. Greeks were probably the pioneers of an organized study of biology. Some important biologists Aristotle 384 to 322 BC was the first person to study animals in sufficient detail and he is called the founder or 
father of biology. Theophrastus, 370 to 285 BC, mainly studied plants and is said to be the father of botany. Hippocrates, 460 to 377 BC, rationalized the science of healing and treating the sick. He is called the father of medicine. Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck, 1744 to 1829. He was the first to give the theory of evolution and explain the diversity of plants and animals. He wrote a book also on this subject. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723 He was a Dutch scientist born in Holland and invented the simple microscope. With the help of this microscope, he discovered and studied protozoa and bacteria, which he called as tiny forms of life. Robert Hooke, 1635 to 1703. He was an English scientist. He discovered the porous structure of cork. He observed thin slices of cork under a microscope and found tiny one comb shaped compartments in the cork, which he called cells. Biology in the 19th century In the 19th century, biology took several major leaps through the discovery of germs, wider acceptance of the theory of organic evolution, establishment of the cell theory, etc. Now, the 21st century, and this century is poised to unravel more mysteries of nature and miraculous innovations in medicine and agriculture. Biology has already progressed a great deal in the field of vitamins, hormones, genetics, genetic engineering, antibiotics, cancer research, Cloning, stem cell research, organ transplant, environmental sciences, life in outer space, etc. Important branches of biology Biology is divided into several branches. This division can be made in at least three different ways depending upon major kinds of organisms, special groups of organisms, and the approach in studying them. Let us first study in terms of major kinds of organisms. The principal subdivisions of biology in terms of major kinds of organisms are as follows. Botany, the study of plants. Zoology, the study of animals. And human biology, the study of man as a living organism and his relationship with other living organisms. The study of man and human society come under anthropology. The Greek word anthropos means man and logos means study. In terms of special groups of organisms, the branches in terms of special groups of organisms are bacteriology, which is the study of bacteria, virology, the study of viruses. Mycology, the study of fungi. 
Entomology, the study of insects. Ichthyology, the study of fishes. Herpetology, the study of lizards, snakes, etc. Ornithology, the study of birds. In terms of approach in studying them, the branches in terms of approach in studying them are Anatomy, the study of gross structure of an organism as seen in dissection. Morphology, the study of form and structure of plants and animals. Histology, the study of minute structure of tiny bits of the body as seen with the help of a compound microscope. Cytology, the study of structure and function of animal and plant cells. Physiology, the study of functions and activities of organisms and their parts. Embryology, the study of formation and development of embryo of plants and animals. Taxonomy The science of naming, grouping and classifying plants and animals. It is also called systematics. Ecology The study of the relationship of an organism to both its living and non-living environment. Biogeography The study of geographical distribution of plants and animals. Paleontology The study of prehistoric forms of life through fossils of plants and animals. Evolution, the study of origin and descent of organisms. Genetics, the study of the transmission of body characteristics, both similarities and differences from parents to offsprings. Parasitology the study of parasites, that is, the organisms that live on or inside other organisms and draw nourishment from the hosts. Pathology, the study of diseases of plants and animals. Immunology, the science that deals with the phenomena and causes of immunity that is resistance to or defense against diseases. Eugenics, the science which aims to improve the human race through controlled heredity. For example, discouraging a marriage that is likely to show unfavorable or harmful characters in children. Biochemistry Study of chemicals and reactions that take place inside the living things. One of its numerous applications is DNA fingerprinting. Applied Biology Biology has enormous applications in other branches of science. It forms an important part of agriculture, raising crops and livestock like cow, buffalo, etc. Veterinary science, that is treatment and surgery of animals. Marine biology, 
Study of Life in the Sea Household Biology Study of household animals, insects, etc. Including how to prevent damage to our own body and to our belongings. Horticulture Science and art of growing fruits, vegetables, flowers or ornamental plants. Sericulture Technique of producing silk by raising silkworms.